Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we will be continuing the Discord.py series and specifically the object series. Today we will cover the message object. We have already seen one of the attributes of the message object which is content. So anything I send in a Discord channel has, is a message and that message has content in the form of text. We have been using this since the beginning of the series and hence I will be covering some other important attributes and methods. So let's begin. So in my editor here I have the basic client code. If you are not familiar with this I would request you to check out the second video of the series which is basic bot code. Also I have already put in a trigger for um, initiating our command which is send and like like all videos we do here on this channel, it is under the on message event. I have explained this a bit more in detail in the second video of this series. So let us start by covering one of the most used attributes of the object, that is the author. So message.author returns a member object, which was actually the topic of our previous video and is extremely helpful to check for the user, their permissions, top roles, etc. So here I'm just going to create a basic me basic send statement and before that I will define my member my member is equal to message.author so the author attribute so my member will be a member object and now I will do await message.channel.send and here I will say Hello there, your username is and as I told you last time we can just do member.name. So this my member, my member.name. So if you are not understanding what dot name is, so you should check out the previous video uh, which was on the member object. So this is for the author object author attribute sorry and now let us move on to the next one which is mentions so now in discord there are three types of mentions user mentions role mentions and channel mentions so let me just show you a user mention is something like i am mentioning uh, the bot that is a user a role mention is something like the role one that we created last time and another channel mention which starts with a hashtag is mentioning a channel just like this. So while there is no att specific attribute to return a user mention of a message, there are attributes specifically for the role and channel mentions. So to filter out the user mentions, I will be using a for loop and filtering the mentions through it. So mentions, role mentions and channel mentions attributes are all lists. So it's very easy to iterate through them. So here I will just say mentions list is equal to message dot mentions all right for m in mention list if mention m in message dot role mentions so that will check if the, that is a mentioned role or not so in a similar way we also have channels so if m in message.role mentions or i will just take a new statement then uh, i will just do pass and elif m in message.channel mentions which is similarly all the channels that we mentioned in the message channel mentions pass and else I will append it to a new list. So that is user mentions dot append m. All right. So you, I'll just define the user mentions variable to be a list. And now let us just create a basic send statement, and I'll send uh, all the mentions, and I will send the name of the role, the name of the channel. So in the next video or so, we will be covering uh, channels and after that we will be covering the guild object. So for now, I will just be using channel.name which is a basic way to get the name of the channel. So uh, now let me just make the send statement again. 
await message not channel but send and let me put this in a doc string so I can have multiple lines in the same string so here I can say mentions data all right and next line I will just indent it like that and if you have if you don't know what that uh, lesser than greater than sign is then you should check out the formatting messages video of this series now uh, let me just make this an f string so I can add um, variables to it so you mentioned the role and then in as a variable message dot role mentions zero so this is the first type term of the list dot name similarly I will just be copying this and in next line I will say you mentioned the channel and I will just paste that and instead of role mentions I will say channel mentions easy right so now the next thing I will say is you mentioned the user and in a similar way I will just say uh, instead of message dot role mentions I will just say the user mentions that is what we define the variable to be so user mentions right so before I move on to the ne uh, before I move on to running this code uh, we have the last attribute we have attachments attachments are nothing but files sent with the message in our tutorial I'll be using only images because they are the most sent ones so attachments just like mentions returns a list so let me just say my file is equal to message dot attachments means zero so this is the first item so await my file file dot save hello dot png so let's let me just call it test dot png for now and now let me say await uh, message dot channel dot send you also you uh, you also attached this and in the next in, and the send send uh, attribute takes a parameter send method takes a parameter file so let me define it to be a discord dot file and as we are going to call it test dot png so now let us go to ideally and run this code and see how it works out all right so we have our code here and let us just run it I'll be combining all the things in a single command but when you use this in your bots uh, be sure to separate or use it as needed so let me just go back here and let me say send at AV creators bot let me mention a user let me mention a role and let me mention a channel like this video channel mm -hmm. and by the way if you are enjoying this tutorial feel free to like the video as well and here let me attach an image so let us just say this and let me click enter so here we can see the bot sent everything that we wanted so first of all it said hello there your username is Kai Havertz which is absolutely right and as we have seen in the previous video it is just in order in the second one we see mentions data you have mentioned the role role 1 which is what I had done you had mentioned the channel like this video which is exactly right and you mentioned the users AV creators bot and it also sent the file that we had sent and that is how you make attachments mentions and author work so uh, this has worked really beautifully and now let's go back and check out some methods so let me just comment this code all right and now let in the next line I'm going to do some important method methods uh, related to messages namely the pin unpin and publish so before that I'm going to import async io module which helps me to hold the code just like time.sleep but built for asynchronous programming okay so now we have seen what pinned messages are so let me show you what pinned messages are for example I click on this and I click 
right click and I click pin message so oh yeah pin it and you will see here in the pin messages this appears and you can always go ahead and unpin the message so that's it for the pin messages and now let's see how to code that so uh, let's pin our command using the bot so let us just do await message.pin it's as simple as that and now let me just say await uh, message.channel.send pin alright and in a similar way we can do unpin but before that I am going to do await async io.sleep which will hold the code for 15 seconds before doing the unpin command so await message.unpin and await message.channel.send unpin alright so now coming to the final part of the video but wait I'll be running this code later on so don't leave just yet you should check out the publish method because it's really a cool one so uh, what this does is in community service announcement channels just like this one right here indicated by a loudspeaker icon you have this publish option here and it often happens that many people uh, like the moderators or admins of servers forget to do it and it's really annoying because many people have subscribed to that channel and by subscribe I mean you follow it like clicking here in such a way that whenever someone posts here and clicks publish it comes in your server that's really cool so now let's just uh, code it it's really easy in a similar way we just have await message dot publish and now let me just say await message dot channel dot send published so here I'll just be putting a few seconds of time out so await async io dot sleep 5 right so let's just run the code and check it out all right so let me run it and let's go back to our um, discord and there we go let's just say send and as we can see it pinned a message to the channel we can go here and check it has pinned this exact message and now in another few seconds it will also unpin the message so let's just wait for that and it will send a message see unpin and here I check it says this channel has no pinned messages yet and now it says publish so let me just hover over that and you can see the publish icon is disabled and it says published so that's really successful so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it in a nutshell we covered some important attributes and methods of the message object these are some very commonly used ones and I hope you are going to use these in your bots too thank you for watching and consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials like this bye